right? So the Torah originally was revealed in the Hebrew language, right? And then the gospel was originally revealed in the Greek language. And the Quran was revealed, originally revealed in the Arabic language, right? So now when it comes to the gospel or when it comes to the Torah, right? Where is the original Hebrew? See, at least like if you got to translate it from language to language because God's word is universal, Sir, which means everybody, trans- every, every, everybody on the planet. No, 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 no this no, is not no, an no, argument. Stop, stop, this is a matter of integrity. This is a matter of integrity. Stop, 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 stop. You're not going to sit here and argue transliteration and translation because you know you have no argument, right? Let's go back to square one, right? This is what I wanted you to ask, Sumner. You quoted from Luke, right? You claim that the Bible is corrupted, but yet you're quoting from a book that you claim that is corrupted. That is a contradiction. So how do you not know what you quoted earlier from the book of Luke that that wasn't corrupted? See, now you're in a conundrum. You're contradicting yourself, sir. And we here's the have thing. The Messiah. Like, and no, I'm not, I'm not done, please. We not only that, sir, please. Please. Well, hold on. Hold no, on. We're not holding on. We want now, when I, when, I say, when I say, when I say, when I say what I say, I'm saying that the Bible has been tampered with. Everything in the Bible well, hasn't been corrupted. Has been Everything. Listen, listen, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, okay. hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That's what, it's dumb, is, man. It's dumb. It's dumb, it's, dude. You keep this is why, Roderick, I gave it to you. The Bible being tampered with, you don't bring no facts. You keep saying this, so which part is tampered with? The part that you pick out and say it's not tampered with or some other part? What we're he asking for is the facts. It would be yeah. great if you would what, stop what, making this dumb what, statement what, what, with hey. no evidence. You got zero evidence, dude. Zero. Now, let, What's let me, wrong uh, with you, man? What is wrong with you? Stop it's, doing it's, that. It don't even make sense. You sound crazy. What? You keep making this statement, you don't bring no facts. And yeah, it's irritating. It gives you a headache. Oh my goodness. So, but I'm gonna leave you guys with this though because I can't. I can't keep going on. I gotta. I do gotta run out of here. But I'm gonna leave you guys with this. Somebody give him the gospel. Somebody give him the gospel. Somebody give him the gospel. Roger, thank you for coming yeah. by. Yeah. We're not yes. gonna allow yes. you to us with anything except evidence. And if you don't have it, yeah. yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And by the way, come back. Go, sir. Going to bring that evidence with yes, you. And we will not den- deny you the opportunity to present that evidence. Other than that, we are done. I grab my pen and write raps defending the prophecies. I'm not the pastor's friend that ain't mastered in this theology. Slave masters can't ain't have to send an apology. So no, the man of sin can be grafted into this olive tree. At school, we ain't learn about the Persians and Medes. They send us to school to learn about the birds and the bees. Cause under heathen watch, evil plots turn to decrees. Under heathen watch, even cops turn into thieves, nigga. That's how it is on the wild, wild west. Not until the heaven hits the earth will I find my rest. All right, we got somebody else up here. Um, Mr. Roderick. Uh, I hope I said uh, your name correctly. I'm bad with names, but uh, welcome. Uh, did you want to speak, sir? Yes, I would like to say something, please. Okay. So, Roger, are you uh, are you a uh, what is your uh, religious persuasion, sir? So I would I would just say humbly, sir, that I am a student of religion, right? Because the subject of God, the subject of the prophets, the subject of the whole eschatology of life and everything therein is a very big, 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 big and profound type of topic. It doesn't matter anybody in here that is familiar with the scripture knows that you can read the scripture for years and still not have solved something that you are now seeing. Right? Okay, so, so, so I, my, yes. my question mm-hmm. is, what school are you a student of? So I, I study under uh, Islamic uh, doctrines. I also That's study under Christ, Christian Christian uh, doctrines. Uh, well, well, which one do you Jewish. hold to as, as true? So I would say this. What I hold to as true, to answer you directly, is I believe that there's only one God, and that one God is the sender of all prophets. He's the master of time, space. Well, what, is what, the, is his, yes, what is his name? Boy. What is so his he, name? Hey, so he has had many names throughout history, okay, but those one many name names that, that, that's working for you right now. Okay, so we can use uh, we can use Jehovah, uh, we could use Allah, wow. we could use well, God. Just use the one that use the one that makes it good for 
for what? your feet to fit cement because I don't want to dance around and around with you. Okay, so we could let's just say we could we could use Allah, right? There you go. We, now now we okay. on the right page. Yeah, yeah we could since we, we could know, use Allah. Since we know, since we know mm -hmm. who, who you are, you've heard the conversation. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna mm -hmm. give you three minutes to respond to whatever's been said. Okay. And notice that after mm -hmm. your three minutes is done, I'll allow you to land. But when mm -hmm. your three minutes is done, we're going to respond. Thank you. And I would appreciate it if you wouldn't do like the last guest and interrupt yes, while we're trying to speak. Thank you. Yeah, you are yes, trying to start when I stop talking. Yes, sir. So uh, first thing that I want to say is Jesus, of whom we are referring to or who I hear uh, being referred to here, uh, he spoke Arabic, right? And Arabic is one of the ancient Semitic languages, right? So there was what? three of them. Arab Meg is what Jesus spoke. Arab Meg, there's no language like Jesus. that. <laughs> okay. Well there's there's a there's a language such as Aramaic, Hebrew and Arabic, right? So all of these languages, if people are familiar with etymology, these are languages that are interconnected. But short story, when you look up what how God was pronounced in the language of Arab Meg, which was spoken by Jesus it is simply a law so now moving forward i wanted to say to the room that yes the muslim quote unquote muslim religion or quote unquote the quran as people are i'm um, hearing referred to the secret to the quran is the fact that number one jesus the christ as known in the christian world in the christian doctrine is actually the principal figure that comes back to teach the muslims how to interpret the quran that is right there in the Quran. And yes, the Muslims, quote unquote, believe in the Messiah. And it was in the Hadith of the Prophet that he asked his followers, quote unquote, the Muslims, right? He said, quote, how would you be when the Messiah, Ibn Maryam, descends upon you and becomes your Imam, right? So this is what the scripture, this is what the scripture says or this is what the Hadith says. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, asked the Muslims how would they be when the Messiah descends upon them and becomes their Imam, meaning their leader. So now at the end of the day, when we look at the Bible in the book of Luke chapter, uh, chapter 24, we see the Christ or Jesus being the most skilled in the maneuvering of the scriptures and in the maneuvering of understanding and interpreting the scriptures. Now, the problem with the people in the world is the fact that we are suffering from an identity crisis, right? And so when we look at uh, the, uh, the book of John, chapter 5, verses 39, we see that Jesus was confronting the people because he said, quote, you have been reading the scripture about me. You have been searching the scripture about me because prophecies pertaining to the works of Jesus the Christ and what he would do in the world was written all throughout the scriptures to the degree that it says that he comes in the volume of the book to fulfill all that is written of him. But because the people were suffering from an identity crisis and under the curriculum of the Satan and the forces of this world, the God of this world who lies on every single platform that there is, when Jesus appeared in the flesh, the people were incapable of recognizing him. So Jesus said right there in the book of John, he says, here I am right here, right now in the flesh. And you've been reading the scripture about me, but yet you don't recognize me. So the scripture says that blind people would have eyes, but yet they do not see. They would have ears, but yet they do not hear. And so this was the prophecy pertaining to the condition of the people's heart and minds upon the appearance of Jesus the Christ, of whom is known all throughout the scriptures, all throughout the Quran. And to put it in context for us and the people in the room is when we look at the Bible, the Torah was revealed 4,000 years ago. That means laying your plane, brother. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. So do you believe the scriptures, they are the, the God of the Quran is the God of the Torah and the, and the gospel? Absolutely. There's only one God, and he's the sender of all prophets. The Torah came 4,000 years ago through Moses, and the gospel came 2,000 years ago through Jesus. Uh, do, you believe they, 
And the Quran came 1,400 years ago through Muhammad. We know when they were revealed. Do you believe that the previous scriptures are corrupt, or do you hold that they're infallible? Well, I believe that the previous scriptures, the uh, the Torah and the gospel, because of the enemies of God and the enemies of the prophets, right? If you study the history and you study the scripture well, you have a people in the Bible being charged with the murdering of the prophets. And then when you fast forward to the Quran, you have the same people in the Quran being charged with altering the word of the prophets, Right, my friend, so is, you, the, is the Torah and the gospel corrupt, man? Let's try to keep our answers concise. Right, I, I, I know what you're trying to get to. You're trying to charge me with trying to do to no, me trying no, to be the no, one. No, I respect no, he's just trying to get you to yeah. answer the question. Uh, well, answer I just answered this question. I answered it for him. There's a people <laughs> in the Bible who are charged with with murdering the prophets. Why would they murder the prophets? And then here's my question: to You not only did they murder the prophets, why are you, you think why they are you answering the prophets and preserve the text? Well, do you think Sir, they're answering the prophets? They didn't ask you. Stick to the, 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 the topic. Okay. So short story. Short short story. The Bible no, so has story. been tampered no, no. with. Let your answer be okay. Made. Thank you. That okay. that's his answer. The Bible has it is, it been is a, tampered with. So the Bible's been tampered with. Now, Mr. Travis, Roger, Tra to Travis, hold on, some much respect. Mm -hmm. Travis was having that conversation. If he's done, well, then yeah, I was just trying to make sure that nobody got the wool pulled over their eyes. It's, God doesn't believe in all of the totality of Scripture. He believes in portions of it that he likes that suits his Islamic need. But I, I just want to point out mm -hmm. to the room mm -hmm. that the Quran mm -hmm. promises. Uh, all right, so the Quran is in a dilemma here, and let me just break it down for the room real quick if they don't know the Islamic dilemma. The Quranic God slaps his name on the Torah and the Gospel in chapter 3, verse 3 through 4 of the Quran. The Quranic right? God. Wait, 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 hold on. Yeah, the Quranic God is different than the Please. God of the Bible. Please don't interrupt me, man. We didn't do that to you. Please. We listen to you ramble nonstop. Um, an incoherent mess. But anyways, the God of the Quran stamps his name on the Torah and the gospel, promises their preservation in chapter 18, verse 27 of the Quran, chapter 6, verse 114 to 115 of the Quran, and even commands people to judge by the Torah and the gospel in chapter 5, verse 68. Now, if you were to do that and to be a good Muslim and follow the direct commands of the Quran, you have to pick up the Torah and the gospel and reject the God of Islam as a pagan deity. Right. Just simply following what the Quran says. So this is why I was wondering if he's going to try to marry all these books together or if he was going to pull up to a buffet and try to eat from our scriptures to validate his God. Our scriptures reject your God. Be a good Muslim. Do what the Quran says and reject them, too. And that's on that. That's on right there. Summer, were you going to speak to him? Something. Um. Yeah, I, I did want to say. Oh. Are Yashua, whoever is next? No. I had wanted to say. Right. I, I he said be a good Muslim. I had wanted <laughs> to ask him. Um. I had wanted to ask him. Okay. So since he says that the biblical narrative, the whole Bible, should be said, has been tampered with. If it's been tampered with, why is Allah telling the Rasul of Allah, the Messenger of Allah? that if their book is corrupted go to the people of the scriptures now the second part of my question is when did it get corrupted because we know during that time the distribution of the gospel and of the bible it was popular it was widespread so give us a time when the biblical scriptures were corrupted as well as why is Allah telling the Muslims that if their book is corrupted, go to the people of the book, which is the Injil and the Torah. Did everybody hear my questions? Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it looks yeah. like So the, um, to answer your question is the Bible and the altering of its uh, integrity by the enemies of God, not God and not his prophets, but by the enemies of God and his prophets, they began to alter the words of God is because if we look at what Jesus said, and if we know the power of God's word, 
it changes hearts, it changes minds, and it alters the conditions of society, and it even overturns government, right? And so you had people in the scripture that were in charge of very powerful civilizations at that point. And here you have Jesus coming into the world talking things like, know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Well, as far as the rulers and the enemies of God were concerned, is they didn't want anyone being free from their power. And from well, that's, 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 that's nice rhetoric. What we need is, we need proof. <laughs> we need historical right. yeah. documents. Yeah. We need we need actual evidence. We don't. The rhetoric will not help us here. See, because well, this, you're making a claim. Uh, Wait a minute. Uh, you're making uh, a claim that the original text has somehow been altered. What we need for you to do is get the original text and show us how it has been altered, how it has been changed from the truth to a lie because that's the statement that you made that's what we need mm-hmm. rhetoric okay. we don't care about what you think about it we need proof I remember because the in, verses case you didn't the know, in case you didn't know it says the truth is against quran facts that's what we need mm-hmm. we need facts we don't need your opinion so and you have sir, fact, and I, go ahead yes mm-hmm. sorry sir sorry sir um, uh, Roderick, as you are getting that uh, the stuff that uh, Pastor Sam asked you to uh, get, could you clarify? Are you part of the Nation of Islam? Yes, I am, sir. Okay, I just wanted to make sure because that's, yeah, I just wanted to make sure because it didn't sound like you didn't seem like you were um, a Sunni or Shia, so I just wanted to uh, 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 clarification uh, from you. So you are uh, under the teaching of the uh, uh, Elijah Muhammad. Yes, the Honorable Elijah Lewis Muhammad, Farrakhan. yes, sir. And, and okay. the honor, via the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, yes, sir. And, and, okay. And what, it's, it's all right. Yeah, what packages, we see a horrible attempt in cherry-picking of Bible verses to prop the Quran up. And, mm-hmm. And, and, mm-hmm. Yeah, so well, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not, wait, we don't really have an agenda to prop the Quran up, quote-unquote. We're, we do have an agenda to prop the truth up. Get right, right. Go and get those questions. documents that I ask you for so you can prop up I, I, the truth. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not being allowed to. Well, the documents are no, evidence. They're the everywhere. Doc- you can be allowed to they're, do all of those yeah, things they're, yeah, they're if everywhere. you do like what we are doing. We are going to we go and get the surahs. We go and get Quran. We get all of these things to prove what we're saying, what we're asking you to do. Is you made uh-huh. a, a salacious statement against the Bible that it has been corrupted. We need okay. you to go and get so the here's, original. here's some proof right here. Here's some proof right here because we're on a platform where I don't, you know, we unless we can upload the documents. But here it is. You can you can was not was not was you Micah was, was Micah was Mark was Micah murder, right? That's that would be a question. Was Isaiah? No, no, that's sir, murder. Sir, what we need is proof. That's nothing to do with it. Hard, well, the hard thing. No, it does. It has everything to do with it because who did it and why? Who did it and why? The hard thing for you to do, sir, <laughs> is to go and prove your statement. You made a statement. If you're not going to back the statement, the best thing to do is say, I don't have any proof. Instead of just going on and on and on with more things that you can't prove. So that's what we're asking for today. We're allowing uh, Muslims and Islamic people to speak, but what we're asking them for are the facts. And if you cannot prove what you're saying, then what we have to do is assume that either you're making things up or that you are just a deceiver who wants to deceive. That simple. That's really simple. And if I can, if okay, I can, perfect. So can I, can I give you, uh, can I, can I presume, produce a fact? Because I'm sure everybody yeah, in here is obviously you acquainted gonna, with this. Yeah, 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 there's documentation. There's, do, there's documentation. There's documentation, but the thing is, yes, yes. Okay, so can I not be interrupted? Why, why is like this? See, I understand what you want to do. But what I'm yeah. asking you for is what we're demanding. We demand that you give us can the I, proof. Can I, can I give it to you? Because you do okay, have so you guys have read the Quran, if you right? Have it, if you have it in a link or a PDF or something that we can display it at the top and we can show everyone, we can read it and we can compare it, the truth statements with what you said versus what the Bible says, then we can proceed. But just okay. to allow you to pontificate about the idea that you know, no pontificating. 
It's no pontificating. None, none hey, whatsoever. Hey, pass the sound. Yes, Dad. Can I talk to him for a second? Yeah, hold on one second. I'm trying to establish if he's going to give us this. This. this, this. No, I think you guys try to. You guys know. You guys know that the truth is coming, and, and you want to create a dynamic. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Hey, hey Roderick. Oh, oh, just for some reason, I didn't mean to cut you off. I want him to answer my question. Like, he's literally hitting on us. Like, he step, step, stop, son. I want you to answer my question. <laughs> like, literally, it's not that hard. Like, if you subscribe to the scriptures, let your yay be yay and let that nay be nay. That's all I'm asking, bro. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, because you only do it. So, so uh, Roger. Listen, I used to be in the Moore Science Temple of America. So you guys stole uh, some teachings from Noble Jurali. You stole some teachings from Freemasonry. You stole some teachings from the Quran, and you stole some teachings from the Bible. But here, let me teach you your Quran real quick. Oh, well, hold on. Can you provide proof like the pastor said, though? Like the pastor said. Can you put the links up? Can you put the links up? So, no, do what the pastor no, you said to me. You provide the link first. Remember? The, the, you provide the link first. No, see, that's an agenda. See, no, everybody should put a link up because that's the standard of the pastor. Hold on. Everybody should put their links up. Everybody should put their links up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. See, that's the standard of the bro, 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 See, that's the bro, thing when they bro, bro, you're trying to use that to deflect from the fact that you haven't provided a doggone thing. You have provided zero. Don't even so until you provide until you provide proof, you don't have a, a leg to stand on about asking anyone to bring any proof. We already know what study can show because we we follow him and we listen to him. We know his background, but you. You have not shown us anything. So the standard has already been set by study because he has shown us his proof and he's going to show you some. So if you just, you promise to hold your tongue. So let, let the brother talk. Go ahead, study. Oh, but the woman asked a question, though, that still hasn't got answered. Now he's in front of that woman. Hold on, go ahead. Answer someone's question. You, you bad. The woman definitely asked the question that that man is interrupted. Okay, so, so go ahead and answer the question. Okay, so here it is. Uh, so, in the Quran, which everybody I'm sure is read in here, because you can't be capping on it if you ain't read it. So now, in the Quran, chapter three, entitled "The Family of Amran," right, and then verses forty-eight. And let's just say, let's just say forty-seven through through fifty, right? Right there, in there is Allah letting it be known through the mouth of the prophet that he was going to raise up the Messiah and or Jesus the Christ. And he was going to teach him the wisdom of the gospel, which was revealed by the Jesus of 2000 years ago, and the wisdom of the Torah, which was revealed by Moses 4,000 years ago. And then also the wisdom of the book of which is the Quran that was revealed 1400 years ago. And so in the Jesus Christ and or Messiah, having the wisdom of these books, then that would enable him the ability to maneuver in and out of the books, Jesus the Christ we're talking about, right? With wisdom that not even Moses knew, or with wisdom that the Jesus Guys, of 2,000 this, this years is, didn't have. This is just and more speeches. Why is he not providing evidence? Hey, 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 hold, 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 hold on, let, let him speak. He's busting himself. Chapter okay. 3. Chapter ahead, 3 is the evidence. Chapter 3. Chapter 3. Chapter 3. Chapter 3. Talk about all this in three minutes. Show us chapter 3. Chapter 3. What I would like what happen is for the the belief from what he has just said, what I would like for to happen is uh if if, the, if that's a sufficient answer for you uh summer uh to that, go ahead. that was part of it she had a couple of questions so she had a couple of questions no it, it, no it, it, no that wasn't that wasn't sufficient enough because my specific questions were because he said that the bible the biblical narrative whole bible has been corrupted i said if this is the case if this is the case why does the Quran says if the Quran has been messed up, go to the people of the book? Not only that, not only that. When did it get corrupted? A specific time frame, because I stated that during this time, 
the dispensation of the gospel has already been spreading out. Heck, you got people talking about Gnostic gospels and people fighting off false doctrine in this earth. So, when did the Bible get corrupted? Because you have to remember the Quran comes 600 and something years later from the Bible. From the gospel, yes, ma'am. Yeah, in totality from, from the full Bible, from the full Bible. So when mm-hmm. you're... When, um, he, thinks that, I, he thinks the gospel is a book given to Jesus. Is that right, Roderick? Yeah, the, the, the gospels were real, revealed to Jesus in, in, in the... In the in, 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 like, Wait, yes. gospels so, or yes, gospel? It, it, is the gospel one well, the, book the, or is it... Met- the, it's, 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 it's uh, multiple of books. As you know, Apostle Paul wrote 17 of them. So there's a multiple of books, but it's one book in totality as far as a volume. It's a one volume called the gospel composed of a multiple of books. He doesn't know what the gospel is. So, does, so, go ahead. So, uh, so, so, so Roderick. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, hold on, man. Listen, I don't want to be contentious with you. you know, okay. I just want to talk to you. So listen, uh-huh. do you know who Wesley Muhammad is? Yes, I do know who Brother Dr. Wesley Muhammad is. Okay, he's one of your scholars, right? Yes, he is one of our scholars. Okay. So he admits, right, in his uh, works that Allah is a beardless lad in a green uniform. He cites these hadiths about Muhammad being a young man with ever flowing hair. Okay. In the Quran, uh, Surah 1156, it says, surely Allah is on a straight path or surely my Lord is on a straight path. In John 14, 6, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. So we see that Allah is on a path. We don't know whether he's on a path to Jesus, which is salvation, because that's what uh, Yeshua means, salvation, (coughs) or whether he's on a path to Satan, because in Surah 716, uh, it says that Allah deceived Satan. In Surah 1539, Allah deceived Satan. So here, here, here. No, it, I, 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 it doesn't I say, say that, that, brother. It doesn't say that now. It doesn't say oh, oh. that in the Quran. No, sir. Oh, oh. It doesn't say oh, that. Oh, okay, I'm going to read no. the verse. Allah, Allah is not on the course. He is the God. He's God. He's the Lord of the world. He's the sender of prophets. Okay, so... He puts so, the prophets on a course, if anything. The prophets okay. are on a course, but not Allah. Okay, so go okay. to Surah 1156. I want you to check behind me, man. I want you to, to don't don't just start. Okay. Hold on. Give me this one second. Let me grab my hold on. Let me grab my Quran, sir. <laughs> you talking about a lot. Let me hold on. Let me grab this Quran. Let me grab this Quran. What are you talking about, sir? Yeah, let's grab this Quran. Let's get to this Quran. Yes, yes, yes. Hold on just a second. Hold on, Robert. Please, please. Study, can you teach him that the Quran tells him not to say Allah's Torah and gospel are corrupt and promises their preservation? That would be great. Well, here's the thing, though, like there, like I said, Allah or the prophets aren't the ones responsible for the corruption of his words. It is the enemies of Allah and the prophets that are responsible for the corruption of his words. So, 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 so listen, listen, listen. In, in, in the Quran, in Surah 289 and Surah 291, Allah mm. is affirming that which is in the hands of the Jews and the mm. Christians. I think mm-hmm. the, yeah, the, the truth, truth word the truth. Is yes, 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 yes. Why, why do you listen, man? Yes, yes. Don't, don't because, like I said, if you're listening to me carefully, right, I'm never saying that anything that comes from God is corrupt. Never am I saying that, right? I'm not saying that. What so, I'm so, saying is, is that there are certain things that came from God, right. from God that got that, corrupted but by his enemies. That. This is my well, the, the if proof you keep is saying here, that. But you haven't proven that. I, this is what well, I'm saying to you. Hey, can I ask a question? I am, that, part, hey. that part about you keep saying it. We don't care about your opinion. What we need today from you and anyone <laughs> else that's speaking for or against is we need the facts. Now, our side keeps coming up with facts. You just keep on talking. So, so uh, that's the Pastor Sam, actually in his Quran, it says that nobody, nobody can change the words of Allah. And it says that twice. Where is that at? And it says that or wherever that is, everybody can see it. 
So he's going to say that what you're saying, he's going to have some kind of contrary to that. But if it's written, yeah, definitely. <laughs> if it's documented, if it's in his book, he has to get yeah. his own book. We're asking yeah. you to do so do that. Well, see, there's, um, like anything, right? Like anything, everything has a context. So we can say anything we want to, but then there has to be a context in which is more applicable, right? So in the ultimate truth, ultimately, no one can ultimately change the truth. They can't destroy They can't destroy the truth. They cannot destroy the truth. Now, they can hide it. They can cover it up. They can misrepresent it, but you cannot destroy the truth. You cannot destroy the truth, and that's God. You gotta stay quiet. Yeah, you can't, you can't destroy the truth. Start with the lion, man. I, 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 I'm, 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 look. I'm really being real patient, and I have given you ample time to provide facts. You just want to keep talking. The people who you are who you are dialoguing, the acts you're having a dialogue with, they keep coming up with book, chapter, and verse. You just keep talking and start trying to whittle some kind of way out of it. You want to dance out of it. Just get the facts, man. Go get, you, you got it in your Bible, or you can find it in our Bible, or you have some historical book. You can get the newspaper. I don't care. But bring us some, mm-hmm. some evidence. Belief doesn't mean anything. Evidence does. Come on, go get it. Okay, so now here's here's the number one thing. So if you guys are studying your Bible, right, and then here's a fact right here, right? Here's a fact. When you have a Bible, when you have a Bible from this to say, because the Bible's been out, you know, for thousands of years, right? That's safe to say. So now if you have a Bible, even from 1000 years ago, and you read it in comparison to a Bible that was just published in the last hundred years, why does it read different? It doesn't read right. different. I can't, I can't, okay. I can't and then, and then, and then well, not only that, the, 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 no, this, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. This is, these are facts. So then not only that, why was the gospel it. revealed in, 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 in Greek? Have you guys read the, the original so text sir, in Greek? Hey, look, oh, go ahead. Sister, it, no, okay. So the thing is, I, I dislike it when I, I, I'm so, I just, I just like, it itches me. Like, I, I, I don't know how, what else, but, but the thing is when people say, oh, well, when you read it back in the, you know, when it was first originally written and then read it now, why does it read it? Well, first of all, if I was to sit you in front of God, dog on Aramaic, Hebrew, and Koine Greek, would you be able to read it? To the okay, average that's, person that's, who, that's a good point. This, okay, so that's a good point. Okay, so hold up. Then afterwards, do you understand Shakespearean language? Okay, then that's also a good All right. point. Okay, so okay, so the way that God is, and God is very our God. I can't talk about because we have the Macarena over there, who is the great deceiver. But our scripture says that there's going to come a time. In a day where there is nobody that can say that they never had the gospel explained to them because of technology, we're being able to understand the word of God, mm-hmm. like in this historical uh, uh, context, context, to break mm-hmm. it down to people mm-hmm. who were understanding on an intellectual level, on a dummy level, all of these things. Mm-hmm. Because there's mm-hmm. going to be a time and a place where you stand in front of God and you have mm-hmm. no excuse. So Absolutely. that's how we can Absolutely. actually break down. So if I'm saying, okay, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Mm-hmm. Okay, God mm-hmm. sent his only son to die and whoever believes in him will not die but have everlasting life and the mm-hmm. life to come that right. is so, basically a summarization of what john three sixteen. and now we're coming to that point where there is no excuse so that's what right. it is but if we go to the quran why is there seven right. dialects okay and if I so so here it, dialect and yeah, you yeah. another dialect there would be different right. words to okay message. so now Here's, here's something very important that's right here in all of our faces. Something that's right in all of our faces. Now, when, we, when we're talking about the Bible, so for example, the Torah, right? So the Torah originally was revealed in the Hebrew language, right? And then the gospel was originally revealed in the Greek language. And the Quran was revealed, originally revealed in the Arabic language, right? So now when it comes to the gospel or when it comes to the Torah, 
right? Where is the original Hebrew? See, at least like if you got to translate it from language to language, because God's word is universal, which means everybody, everybody, everybody on the planet. No, no, no this no, is not no, an stop, argument. Stop, this is a matter of integrity. This is a matter of integrity. Stop, 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 stop. You're not going to sit here and argue transliteration and translation because you know you have no argument, right? Let's go back to square one, right? This is what I wanted you to ask, Sumner. You quoted from Luke, right? You claim that the Bible is corrupted, but yet you're quoting from a book that you claim that is corrupted. That is a contradiction. So how do you not know what you quoted earlier from the book of Luke that that wasn't corrupted? See, now you're in a conundrum. You're contradicting yourself, sir. And here's the thing. The like, and no, I'm not, I'm not done, please. We not only that, sir, please. Please. Not only that, sir, as which they are asking you, you have to show us primary source to show that this book called the B-I-B-L-E is corrupted. Now, I'm like Pastor Sam. Where is your evidence? Don't give us transliteration. Don't give us translation. Don't give us none of that. Provide your source in this room. Source up. Either source up or be quiet. Okay. Those so are your we're, options. We're, we're going to source up. But when I source up, you're going to find that the people source have... Source up now, see. sir. Or otherwise, okay. you're wasting our time. Okay, so here's the source. It's right in front of your face. You are reading scripture that have been taken out of its original text, and the original text is not on the right side. Okay, prove right. that. Show well, us right something there. different. So, 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 sir, so, no, so, no, 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 so, no, 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 sir, 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 stop, 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 stop. Sir, you already declared what we have is quote unquote corrupted. Okay, fine. Now, show us something different primary source that shows proves what you're saying that's what all of us are asking you in this room Understood. and by the way let me remind you one more thing and i'll give it back to you you had if that's the case then you had no business quoting from luke the book which we have right now that you claim is corrupted you had no business uh, quoting from it because you just gave us corrupt information they want to borrow mm, okay. the Bible. Okay, okay, so under, understood. Don't man. play games. Un, uh, don't, understood. Don't, y'all don't let him play these kind of games. Don't okay, let translate away. I'm speaking, sir, I'm speaking uh, to my brothers and sisters on the platform. Don't let him play these kind of games with y'all. Y'all stop him in his tracks. Make him show primary source. And you got to explain why did you quote from a corrupted book. Okay. And I digress. So, so uh, uh, let me just okay. say this to you, Roger. Uh, here, 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 here. Let, let, let me answer you real quick. Okay, what Sister Cherry is saying is is right. You're you're talking about translations. Okay, you ask why the uh, New Testament is in Greek. The word "angel" comes from a Greek word "o angelion," meaning the good news. So you don't even know. With the word angel. I, here, here, mute. I didn't up. ask. I didn't ask why. I didn't ask why. I said it. It was revealing here, 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 please mute up. Please mute up. Okay. So you brought up uh, server three forty six through fifty. That shows that Jesus is more of God than Allah, because Jesus knows what you hide in your. Hold on. Listen. Listen. Mute up. Mute up. I'm about to prove it to you. I'm about to prove it to you. Okay. In those verses, in those verses, if you pay close attention, and, and I'm stay in server three, okay? Mm -hmm. So in server three, four, could you mute up? Don't get mad. Don't get, you came in, into I'm the person. Mad. I hear you. Oh, okay, so mute up. Okay. Mm -hmm. So everybody, in server three, 46 through uh, 50. And in server uh, three. Uh, I think boss is unmuted. Okay, so in, 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 in server three, 46 through 50, it says that it says that um, Jesus knows he, he's omnipresent because he knows what you hide in your houses. He knows what you eat. He knows all of these things. In server three, 142, Allah doesn't know who is doing jihad and who has been patient. But see, Amen. Jesus, 
but but see Jesus knows all of this. In Surah 931, if you knew Arabic, you you would know that you're in right. a conundrum. Because it says they have taken their rabbis and their monks to be lords besides Allah and the Messiah, or uh, I'm sorry, and uh, the Messiah, son of uh, Mary. So it's calling Jesus God in Surah 931. But see, you don't know Arabic. So the Arabic is basically saying that Jesus is God. Now, if I go to some of your Arabic handlers, and the reason why I call them handlers, because you don't know what they say about you. And uh, what is it? Uh, and uh, what is it? Uh, in Al Termity 38, it says that when Adam, uh, or I'm sorry, when Allah created Adam, he created offspring from his right shoulder that were white like ants. And he said, off to paradise, and, you, and I don't mind. And then he created offspring from the, from the left shoulder. And the, the offspring from the left shoulder, he said, they are for hell, and I don't care. In uh, the life of Muhammad, Ibn Ishaq says that uh, Jabril, who uh, is the fake Gabriel, who is really Al Abiyad, you need to look up Al Abiyad. Al Abiyad is the white one. Okay. And he says, if a black man comes to you, his heart is more gross than a donkey. He actually says, if you want to see, uh, Muhammad said, if you want to see what Satan looks like, you need to go look, in, look at Nabtal. Mm -hmm. Nabtal, who, who was a black man with dreads. Now, what did Nabtal do? Nabtal tried to save all the left shoulders. He tried to save all the black people and everybody else from Allah and Shaitan's regime. If you go to Surah 961, if you go to Surah 961 and look at Asbaba Nazul, where it's calling Muhammad the ear because Muhammad is stealing stories from people and yeah. putting them in his Quran, it is Nabtal who warns the people and says he's a hearer. He takes these stories and he puts them in the Quran. Nabtal was black. So then that became the beginning of the attack of the left shoulders. Mm -hmm. and so, we're sir, now, the left respectfully, shoulder. so respectfully, I hear everything you're saying, but this is what I'll ask you just for human sake, right? And attention span, right? Because we're supposed to be slow to speak and quick to hear, right? So as you're telling me like all that these volumes, like that yeah, all of these volumes, right, you're giving me, but can you just kind of just break your thing down piece by piece, right? And when I say that, you are doing that, but I'm saying give, give me something to, to work with and then stop talking, right, rather than going into about 60 citations of Scripture, okay, right, because so we can't deal with everything all at once. Right. So one, so one thing at a time, right? One right. thing at a time. Okay, all right. Give him... Give him Study, give him that uh, uh, the hadiths or whatever y'all. I'm not into those books. The sayings you know. of the prophet, yeah, Muhammad. That's, that's what the hadith is. The, the, the things that you just said, uh, brother, study. Give him the book, chapter, and verse where he can see it for himself. And, and just one thing, so because you addressing this and, and 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 to basically counteract what what I've said, right? Which I understand. And that's fine. But can you just, you know, give, give me one thing and let me address it, right? right. And then you can go into your next thing and then let me address it, right? So exactly. you give me something, I address it. You give me something, I address it. Not that's fine. a bunch of thousands you of scriptures. Yet, you have yet to address what we asked for in the beginning. Okay. Okay. You right. the first right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you're okay. Asked, okay. Okay. Well, no, you, you asked, asked for proof and I gave it to you. You're asked I gave it to you. To what you have not done. And I, well, I, I, get that. I gave it to you. You just don't believe you, it. That's fine. No, it's not I that gave we it don't to believe you, it. I'm asking I gave it you for the hundredth time. What did he the do? Document, sir. The book well, I gave, well, first, be it from the Bible, the corrupt right. book, or the Quran, which is so excellent. Go and get the documents. Even if you want to use uh, extra biblical sources, historical right. sources. Get right. it and let us see right. it for okay. them, just like so, what you're asking for. Uh, right, right, right. Oh, that's right. right. Well, well, that's not that's exactly right. what I'm asking him for. I'm asking him to just say one thing at a time. Well, I'm asking, I actually I'm asking have the possession. Same thing. I'm asking him the same thing I'm asking you. Study. Can you give us the book, chapter, and verse that proves what you are saying so that we're not just taking your word for it? Because yeah. we're not going to take your word. Wait a minute. Just, we're not uh -huh. gonna, hold on. 
we're not just going to take your word for it because you are a Christian. We are. We have invested in your brotherhood because you have shown yourself to be faithful in showing us these things in book, chapter, and verse. Not only you, Yeshua, Summer, and different ones have done the same thing. So what I'm asking, just humbly, sir, can you give him book, chapter, and verse so he can see it for himself so that we can all see it? Okay, sure. So, so I sent uh, uh, Brother you and uh, Travis, uh, Pastor you and Travis, a link. And it, uh, it it contains all of the stuff that I mentioned. Okay, the one thing that I did uh, mention, uh, I'll, uh, another one, which is Asbaba Nazul. Um, so that's for uh, Surah 961. I'll put that in the chat. Um, and... Uh, and as far as like uh, 346 through 50, I'll uh, put that in the chat as well, where uh, Jesus knows what you store in your houses, uh, okay. what you have in your food pantry and all of this. So, so I'll put all of Everybody that. Everybody that wants to 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 uh, to investigate whether or not what study said was true or if he was making it up himself, the link is at the top called Comparative Index to Islam, Black Skin. And he has, as he has just said, the other uh, information is in the side chat. You can go over there and click on that information and go and see it for yourself. In the meantime, uh, we're still waiting on this brother to get us some kind of document whatsoever that may, dis that, that may prove the fact that he said that the Bible was corrupted. On top of the fact right. that Mr. Right. Cherry so graciously brought out that if the Bible is corrupted, why is he quoting the Bible? Mm -hmm. Because how, do, how is the part that he not uh, speaking mm -hmm. corrupted? We just right. Okay. okay. So now, corrupted. can I say that? Can I address that? What Sister Sherry said? Can I address that now? Because we never. I mean, somehow people are always getting in the way of what a question somebody yeah, asked. Well, I tell but, you, he broke this. So like, right. But, 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 but can I address that? Can I address that? I don't like being long winded. Can but, I, but, 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 but. Okay. Why yeah, this? can I address that? Why this so now I'm gonna tell you how. Hold on, hold on, I'm gonna tell you how. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The link is at the top for you to go and read and see whether or not what he said is true, versus trying to pass, try to push past it. Go see if what he wrote. What see? Cause you, you, you was talking about him talking and give you one thing. Well, there's the one thing. Go up there, click on it, read it, and then come back and talk that smack. And by the way, <laughs> welcome to You Got Cuts, the cross mob. Today's topic, the truth is against the Quran. Facts. Uh, it's been a very lively discussion. Also, I'd like to say that uh, Brother Sam uh, and, and someone else have wrote, raised their hand uh, some time ago. And I have invited them up several times. But the server, I think it's a service. You're still here and you're listening. The server has not been... Uh, uh, doing right any race like three of my houses all kind of stuff are happening so um you you guys are welcome to the stage uh, always uh especially trinitarian brethren and yes i'm being partial y'all can say what y'all want to say about me uh but most definitely you're uh, welcome to the stage uh i resign yeah, proving that the scripture is corrupt is not saying they killed the prophets. That doesn't demonstrate that the scripture was corrupt. Uh, okay, perfect. And with that being said, what further evidence is that the scripture, right, previous scripture had been tainted is the fact that the gospel nor the Torah has the original language that is revealed in the right side just for reference point. So when you do read it in English or Spanish or Arabic or whatever you're going to read it in, at least you have the original text. So my point is, is why do they not have the original language on the right for a point of reference that you can begin to compare your studies to? Right. That's my so that, there it the is. It's right in our face. So original. where is the original Greek? The original. And then the, you have or have we, we yeah, have we have yeah, we, it yes. we have that's the thing that's what i was saying okay. don't even bring up the coining greek don't bring up aramaic because that's like what mr study said you keep on saying the gospel and jill and jill that's greek so the thing is we're not talking about our what you call it our languages for the scriptures and how the scriptures were rendered we're talking about the, the uh was the verification of the scriptures you said that they were corrupted when did they get corrupted and who did it 
do corrupt you. Okay. Okay. And so another question. When, 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 the, when they got corrupted, see see how somebody comes in when somebody asks Go a ahead. question? So now, when how how they got corrupted is that a prophet from God came into the world with information, revelation that the people the who were prophet? ruling in that day did not approve of. Who's the Moses prophet? was one of them. So Moses, Moses was one of them. The well, Moses I didn't say Moses corrupted the scripture. I didn't say, see, you're not listening. That's not what I said. I said, you said, when did it start? I said, it starts when the prophets come in the world with information that the rulers of the world do not agree with. Well, let's not be right. Which prophet? Who is the prophet? Who is, Who is the, the prophet? prophet? Who is so you had, you had, you had, uh, Isaiah was a prophet. Right, uh, Micah, uh, Nehemiah. Micah. You have Micah. Moses. Micah. You had Jesus. I mean, there were many of them. No, it's Wait, many so, of them. So they we corrupted it. Who corrupted the scripture? I see, see, see how some. You see how they come on the sideline and, and, and interrupt the system. Oh, but when, you, when you ask me a question, who corrupted it? You said the problem oh, corrupted, it. corrupted it. Corrupted it. Then you mentioned so Jesus. So once again, we have somebody. And where and where's the evidence? Yeah, and where yeah, the, evidence. the evidence is that's, that's yeah. more big evidence. the evidence is right in your face. It's so right there in the book where? that you're reading. Where? It's right there. So when you when you're looking when you're looking at the scripture, when well first of all, you guys are going away from the sister's question. She's trying to have been asking me a question for the last almost, you know, forty minutes. But you have an answer. Now, the, the, I have been answered. It's just you haven't seen or heard what I'm saying, and that's what the Bible no, said. People, no, no, they wouldn't no, no, see or no, hear. No, no, that was talking about <laughs> wisdom. How do you the know that's not corrupt? What you just read. Okay, so let me say this though. I, I will be doing you guys a disservice if I don't tell you this part, right? I'll be doing you guys a disservice. But as it is written in the scripture, could you ask me how am I able to make references? To quote unquote, as you guys say, well, I'm saying uh, a corrupt book. How do how do I like like the sister Sherry said? Like, how do I refer to the book of Luke while mentioning the book of Luke as a foundation or a predicate to express something that I'm saying, right? And so here's how, right? Because I I can't do you guys a disservice by not telling you this, but here's how. Because we have had the appearance, the raising of the Christ from among us. Right. And this is what the scripture said. Light was shining in the dark, but the dark would not comprehend it. So we have had from among, us, we have had from among us. We have had from among us. We would have from among us. Right. Uh, 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 the quoting? Christ would be risen. The Christ, the what Christ, the are Christ you quoting? Would be. I am quoting he's from the Bible. He's talking about he's talking I'm, I'm, John and John. Um, yeah, right. John don't help like him. No, 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 <laughs> sister. Don't help him. Let him come up. Don't help him. So now, but, uh, okay. What, let me say hold this. On, so. hold on. I, I just got a quick question. Just, just, so like, he won't answer just so I can understand. Just so I can understand. You're quoting from John, right? Is that where you're quoting from? Yes, Johannan. He's quoting from Johannan. Okay. So is that enough? Is that not a corrupted scripture that you're quoting from, or is that what's fine? And if you say that it is, we have hadith proof of Yohanan being a great prophet. That's crazy. I'm, not, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just talking about the verse you just quoted. To be honest, that man ain't got no evidence. No, he but he don't. just told me that he got so, a I'm telling you. That's exactly. my question. So if I can keep it simple, tell me which one is corrupted. Which scripture? Tell me which one was corrupted, book, chapter, and verse, and then show me what it should have said. That way I know it is corrupted, what I have now. Can we do that? Yes, we, we can do that, but no but no nobody would look, I'll tell you that. that that, that would take Let's us. That, 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 that would take us. No, that would take us. Book such and such, yeah, chapter oh, such oh, and such, verse such, such and such says this. Right. It should say this as one, as this primary source states. Give me a primary source that tells me what it should have said and how we got it wrong. This is why the Bible that's, says. That should be a simple. Let's, let's hold right here. Let's hold right here on this one topic. Please, guys. All Go right. ahead, Roderick. Where are we going? We're not going on. He has to get the person who did it. He's Wait, consulting from the beginning. He asked him a question, and I want to see that answer. He said, book chapter verse. 
you tell us it's corrupted, and then show us the evidence what it should have said. That, that right. should be very simple. A primary okay. source saying this is what it should have said. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Provided. Okay, so let's, let's just start, for example, because it's, yeah, it's every... It's everywhere in there, but let's just start, for example, in the book of Genesis, chapter 15. So this is Abraham, and he had a, and he had a vision 5,000 years ago, right? He saw his offspring going into what, captivity. What verse? What verse are we at? Genesis 15, so what verse? What? So G Genesis 15, around about 44. Let me pull it up real quick. But Genesis uh, 5, chapter 15. Where's my Bible gateway? <clears throat> Genesis chapter 15, verse 44. Let me see real quick. Hold on real quick. My brothers. Ain't no 44 in the book of Genesis. What I is was just thinking here? that, like, what? The hell? Yeah. So, 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 so hey, Genesis hey, chapter Wondry. 15, one second. One second. Genesis chapter 15. Hold on real quick. So, uh, um, let me get that. Before you embarrass yourself, listen, listen. Muhammad. Ask the Jews for the Torah. Yes, he said, bring me that Torah yes. over there. And then he took the Torah. He, he was sitting on the cushion. He took the cushion from underneath his butt. He put it on his lap. And then he put the Torah on it. And he said, I, I believe in thee. And the what? And who we be? Who we be? But not. Oh. Too high. Come on, keep going. And. So, so before you embarrass yourself and say that the Torah is corrupted. Don't throw Muhammad under the bus. You already threw Allah under the bus because Allah said nobody can change the words of Allah. Absolutely nobody. But you said kings and rulers, and if they disagree with the prophets, then they could change it. And that's six. Okay, so let's go back to your original thing, though. Let's go back to your original thing as far as a verse, uh, a chapter and a verse. Let's go back to that. No, 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 break no, it into no, many no, pieces. No, no. Yeah. Let's go back to that. Yeah, yeah. So now Genesis, uh, Genesis, Genesis chapter 15, 15 13. No, thir no, thir no thir 13, because oh. I was thinking of scrub. I was thinking of Luke. I was thinking of something. Genesis uh, 15, which I was clear on that, uh, verse uh, 13, right? Uh -huh. So now Abraham had a vision 5,000 years ago of his offsprings going into captivity in a strange land that is not theirs, right? And he relayed this vision uh, to, can to we God. Just, can we just read it? Like, like can, can, we, can we just read it? Can we just read it? Like, don't, yeah, let's not give a synopsis. Let's just read what it yeah, says. Yeah. And then show right. me what it should have said. And it's right. from a primary source. Right. So now, when it's, so Genesis 15, 13. So now it says, then the Lord uh, said to Abram, know for certain that your offsprings will be sojourners in a land that is not theirs and will be servants there. And they will be afflicted for 400 years. So now this is what the scripture says objectively right just verbatim and objectively right now when we talk about what it says versus quote unquote what it should say or what we should understand from what it's saying nope what it right i'm gonna add that one i'm gonna not what we should understand it to say sir not what we should understand it to be show me what it should have well, said here's the thing on a primary well, here's source the thing, no. show me right. well, what it should have the said primary source based on a primary source show uh, me right what it should have said Based on a primary source, not not what we understand it to say. If you say it's corrupt, right. well, show me some corrupted text. I just right. this, guy, this guy is making a claim and backing it up with another claim. This is what this is oh, well, no, 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 no. It's not. It, well, first of all, line upon line, precept upon precept. So you, 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 you make claims. You make claims. You make claims. You make claims. Yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on, yes. Hold on. Genesis, uh, Isaiah 2018. No, 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 no. It's no, not a not prescription on how to read the Bible. So stop that. On top, we're going we to put that in the ground. So we in Genesis 15, 13. Show us what it's supposed to have said. You said it was wrong. Say, bro, why is y'all listening to this guy, man? Y'all heard what that guy said? That guy said, hold on, we're not, we're not saying, hold on, no, no, no. Well, I'm not, wait, wait a minute. Say, wait, bro, wait a minute. Stop. Look, yeah. I, I didn't say I didn't interrupt you oh, not yeah, yeah. one time. Well, hold on, but Inter those guys said something to me. It's not that you're interrupting okay. me, it's that they said well, something I'm to me and I need to address right. them. But look, you could address them right after I finish addressing them. Why are y'all talking to this guy when this guy <laughs> said Abraham had a vision 
and he told God his vision. So he was, I mean, nothing else he say make no sense. Study. Get your left shoulder, study. <laughs> man, I'm trying to free these left shoulders. Just entertainment at this point. Oh, man, I love my left shoulder. I wasn't going to say nothing, man. I wasn't going to say nothing, but come on. <laughs> he gave God his vision. I mean, that's like saying, where is Elijah Muhammad in the Quran? He doesn't say Elijah Muhammad. Like, and he doesn't know about the first Black Friday sale. I know oh, he doesn't okay. know about the first oh, Black okay. Friday. So now, <laughs> okay. So now, here, but here, here's the whole mystery to all of this though. Here, here's, here's the key to all of this though. Here's the key. Here's the key to all of this though. Real quick. Study. Study. Don't don't know about the boss. Supposed to be all knowing. No, no. Allah supposed to be all knowing, right? Yes. Well, according to the Quran, he doesn't know a lot, but. But according to the Muslims, they would say that he's And he forgets. And he forgets. But, but, but why is, okay, then why is Abraham got to tell God something? Like he don't already know. Exactly. Well, Abraham, it's not that God did not know because it, immediately when Abraham relayed that vision, God confirmed him in his vision. So it's not that God did not know. Wait a minute. Well, let's read the text. Sharing let's read the text. Something to God. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, mm-hmm. hey, 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 Roderick. Uh, hey, I got something for him, you guys. In Genesis well, hold on, no, 13, no. Keep, keep, we, okay, go ahead. Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Go for it. Go hold on, hold on. Go ahead and go ahead. I want to see this in the text, man. See, he keeps making statements and he never brings any facts. Somebody is. Well, well I just brought a fact. Genesis, and not Genesis, Genesis chapter fact. 15. So he, Genesis he chapter 15, 13 is a so fact. Ball. That's a fact. Go ahead That's a fact that it says that. It's a fact that it says Ready that. For a primary that the Bible is corrupt. Yeah, but the God biggest fact is what does it mean? Gonna read it. Read it. We're waiting for a primary well, source. Go read this scripture is wrong. That it's corrupt. Well, hold on. Hold no, on. We're not holding on. We want now, when I when I say is. when I say when I say what I say, I'm that's saying that the Bible has been tampered with. Everything well, in the well, Bible well, hasn't been corrupted. Has been Everything. The truth. Now, listen, listen. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That's what. It's dumb, is, man. It's dumb. It's dumb, it's, dude. You keep. This is why, Roger. I gave it to you. Bible being tampered with. You don't bring no facts. You keep saying this, so which part is tampered with? The part that you pick out and say is not tampered with, or some other part? What we're asking for is the facts. Tampered. It would be great if you would stop what? making this dumb what? statement what? What? Hey. with no evidence. You got zero evidence, dude. Zero. Now, let, What's let me, wrong uh, with you, man? What is wrong with you? Stop it's, doing it's, that. It don't even make sense. You sound crazy. What? You keep making this statement, you don't bring no facts. Yeah, it's irritating. It gives you a headache. Oh my goodness! Stop. Now, this, this is so now, this is why I gave you the option for you to show us. I gave you the option for you to show us which one was corrupted, and you went to Genesis, right? Hmm. That's the one you chose to say that was corrupted. I, yeah, correct? I went. I went to Genesis to show you. I went to Genesis oh, to let show let you. Read. I said book, chapter, and verse. Okay, and you I gave know. us Genesis and, and, 15. Let, let, so now show us. Chapter, let me read it. Let me read it. 10, it says, 13. God said to Abraham, Know for certain that your descendants will be strangers in a land that is not there, where they will be enslaved and oppressed for 400 years. Okay, what is wrong with that text? So the text in and of itself, there's nothing wrong with. What's wrong is how people understand it. And that's why we're arguing ultimately right now. It's because we don't understand it. The way I understand it makes the Bible corrupted. That don't make the Bible corrupted because I got a corrupted understanding. Good grief. Man, what's going on in here? That's That's what I'm... Oh, hey, Pastor Sam. So when, the spirit, so when the spirit of truth, Pastor Sam, what he about to tell us is what he told us at first. Our understanding should be that Abraham told God about the vision. Right, right. That's what he about to tell us. <laughs> no, uh, no, bro, I no, need you no, that's not. That's not one, the... I need you to understand one thing, bro. Look, everything that um. Farrakhan has told you over the last, I don't know how long you've been following him, it's been hogwash. 
you might as well join Harry Potter, man. Like Boss said, huh. you might as well go in on over there with um, Thor. At least he got lightning. Stop believing that stuff, man. You talk about the Bible corrupting, you ain't got no evidence. Man, that's crazy. Now, watch this here. So, study. study. What's going on, brother? Yeah. Okay, the Quran has not been tampered with. Can you please show this man the error in what he believe in? So he can leave that book alone because they Please. always want to talk about well something corrupted. But study on um, Super Summer. I know y'all got facts to show him that his book is utterly hogwash. Oh yeah, yeah. Al Hajjaj changed the Quran in twelve places. Uh, Allah copied Umar according to Sahih Bukhari four zero two. So this is why he believes that. <laughs> Uh, a, a, a prophet could tell God what to say because in Sahih Bukhari, uh, Allah copies the stupidest verse from Umar. I mean, the verse is so stupid, it's ridiculous. Um, there's certain chapters that are missing uh, so many verses. There's hadith that talk about two missing verses. Uh, there's one with, which is the 10 adult breastfeedings. So if I were to want to hang around with Roderick's sister or or I needed to work with Roderick's sister in order for me to be in close confinement with her she would need to breastfeed me 10 times and that would make us related through suckling that way I wouldn't have the urge to sleep with her so that verse is missing okay and then the verse of stoning is missing in the Quran so those two verses are missing uh the 10 breastfeedings were labor, I'm sorry, were later abrogated to five. So just imagine God revealing a Quran in 23 years and he's abrogating verses within that time. Like, uh, no, I didn't mean to say that. Uh, no, I'm going to change this. In 23 <laughs> years, he's changing his mind. This God is not immutable. I mean, he just, he, he changes uh, on a dime. And does he have to So did, did you know about the 10 adult breastfeedings, Roderick? I know about the 6,616 verses. So now when you talk about verses that have been abrogated, that's outside of the Quranic record. No, I asked you, so, did you and, know and, about and, the 10, so, the, the so, 10 adult no, breastfeeding no, verse? No, there is no 10 adult breastfeeding verse in the Quran. Okay. So I'm going to show you a hadith where that verse, where Aisha, who is the mother of the believers, said that that verse was ate by a tame goat so it was abrog that, abrogated. and then it was abrogated oh, I, <laughs> abro abrogated i'm sorry to, to, to five sucklings okay so now let me ask you guys this for example this is let's put it in a real real context okay so let's just say according to you guys' theory i'm wrong i'm off i'm crazy okay so let's roll with that so now you guys have the true interpretation of the scripture of the Bible, right? According to you, the Bible, everything's pure, ain't nothing been touched or tampered with. Everything is straight from God as he revealed it. So, well, now, that being the case, so now, so now, let me tell you, no, we're not going to say according to nothing. You guys are saying I'm off, I'm crazy, I'm nuts. So now, and you guys have the correct interpretation. So now let's roll with that. So now if that be the case, then explain to me what's going on in the world right now, right? Because the Bible tells us plainly not to do a lot of things that we see happening in the world right now. So if, if you guys have the right interpretation, then, you know, where's your impact or whatever the case may be in the world with your right interpretation of the scripture, right? Where, what's going on in the schools with the children? You know, what, what's going on in the street with the substance? What's going on? So if you guys have the correct interpretation from God or whatever the case may be, then where's your impact in the world? Right, because we're on what clubhouse. We, is we, what we are on clubhouse, but what we I would say is what's going on in this room. We ask you to go and get evidence, to get factual documentation, be it biblical or extra biblical fact, to prove the statement that you made about two hours ago, the statement that the book had been corrupted. You have failed to do that. And now you're trying to lay blame of every ill of society on the hands of the Christians. Forget that movie. <laughs> <What? laughs> go I, I understood. Go I, I understood. The evidence that we asked okay. you for. If you well, cannot, I, 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 gave you I gave it to you in the beginning. I gave it to you in the beginning. I gave it to you in the very beginning. Not get the evidence that we asked you for. Just say I don't have any evidence, man. It ain't no shame in saying I don't know. 
because we do it all the time when we don't know. We just say, well, we don't know. We don't we don't have that evidence. But everyone that has spoken to you has provided book, chapter, and verse, and we ask sure you to do the it. same. And you have not done that. They have shown you from your own book. This is what's crazy, is that you can't even defend your own book. And Roger, well, again, again. So if, if I, if, if you ask me a question, like I said, I've been telling, I've been responding to you guys the whole time. So I haven't been dodging no wreck, right? So, however, when I respond to you, it's just that what I'm saying to you does not fit your predetermined construct, your mental construct. So with that, it's rejected, so, so, so. right? So, but I'm gonna leave you guys with this though because I can't, I can't keep going on. I gotta, I do gotta run out of here. But I'm gonna just leave you guys with this. Somebody the gospel. Hey, uh, I was waiting for coming by. So, could somebody please remove somebody out of the chat? What happened in the chat? Who's in the chat? What happened in the chat? Somebody named Mar Maria. Maria, they in there using profanity. Oh well, bye. Give her the, give her the boo. Oh, let's see. And Amen. so, Roger, thank you for coming yeah. by. Yeah. We're not yes. going to allow yes. you to put us with anything except evidence. And if you don't have any yeah. evidence, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And by the way, come back. I'm going to bring that evidence yes, sir. with you. And we will not den deny you the opportunity to present that evidence. Other than that, we are done. So, let me see here. Uh, who is this? Who's over here doing some kind of company or whatever? Yeah. Oh, I have my hand up. And, and Roderick, we love you, man. Uh, part of what you just said was prophecy, right? That people are going to get worse. Um, I'll read a scripture to you. It says, but understand this, that in the last days, there will be times of difficulty for people will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedience to their parents, and ungrateful and unholy. So our Bible tells us what the future is going to be like. Our Bible is a book of prophecy. There's not one prophecy in the Quran that has come true. Well, there is one where Muhammad tempted uh, the Lord. And this is in Surah 69, 44 to 46. It says, and if he were making this up, then we would seize him by his right hand and his aorta would be cut. And if you go to Sahih Bukhari 4428, when Muhammad was dying, he said, I feel as if my aorta is being cut. So he made up a scripture about if he was lying about this, then his aorta would be cut. And our Lord obliged him. And when he was dying, he confessed that his aorta was being cut. So thou shalt not tempt the Lord. And our book is a book of prophecy. Things may get worse, Roderick, but that's not on the God of Israel. The God of Israel is saving people, and we want you to be saved. We want you to come to salvation. So we love you. Uh, I know it, it might have felt like we ganged up on you, but you came in here and, 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 and you tried to take away from the flock, and you didn't have any evidence. So that's why you got it like you were living. But if you come in here in peace, we'll treat you in peace, and we'll have good discussion. Lee Farrakhan and Elijah Muhammad.